Welcome to another Alex Geometry Topic instructional video by Mr. Hardy. What we're going to look at here is finding the area of a parallelogram. So um, here we have one. A parallelogram, what it's saying is, is that this line here and this line here are parallel. They have the same slope. In this case it looks like the slope is zero. And then so they kind of have the same or they do have the same slope. And then this line here and this line here have the same slope. Okay, so that's what parallelogram means. And then we can't we don't really have a height from looking at the sides. If you looked at the side, that's not really a height. Okay, so sometimes we call this the base. Do we just choose one and call it the base? And then we say, well, how high up is it? Straight up. If we went straight up, the 90 degree angle. So that's what this is, this dotted line over here is giving us. So what we have is the height. The height is 14. And uh, let's just call this the base, the bottom, the base. B A S E equals also equals 14. Okay, so the formula for the area of a parallelogram is just the area, and we just let that we usually let that be A, is equal to the the base times the height. That's kind of a theme in uh, geometry, base times the height for a lot of things. So uh, that's just going to be 14 times 14. Okay, and then that's going to be feet times feet. So whatever the answer is, it's going to be feet squared. Okay, so if we pull up our calculator, we just say 14 times 14 we get 196. 196 square feet. So there's 196 square feet in there. You'd have to fit them in. Okay? Alright, let's do one more example. Slightly different uh, example. Still, if you look close, parallel lines. This line and this line are parallel and the top and the bottom are parallel. Okay, so, so also the other thing about that is that this is also 14 and then this one would also, this would also be 13. Okay, so now that instead of showing us the height out here and saying it's eight, this time they just drew it slightly differently and told us that the height is right here. Okay, so we know, we know that the area is equal to the base times the height. So the base is 14 because if it's 14 at the top, it's 14 down here. So we could say 14 times the height of 8. Okay, so we can kind of do that ourselves. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 3 is 11. So I get 112 centimeters squared because this is 14 centimeters times 8 centimeters. Okay, so hopefully that's enough to get you going. Good luck.